Precious Plastics is a bit of a worldwide movement. We've incorporated it here in Karingal High School through the collection, repurposing and recreating of plastic products into usable daily items. Recycling plastics became a critical need for Karingal High School through um, identifying the waste product that was coming out of 3D printing, ways of cutting and vacuum forming, and there was no real output or viable place to send it other than landfill. We noticed that many other streams of plastic were being generated within our school and we endeavoured to try and repurpose as much of that as possible into a material that our students could use in creative ways. So I'm the collection point for the milk lids. Times we get single milk lids brought in, bags, garbage bags. When I saw some kids you know, with the milk lids, it's hey, what are you going to do with those? Get, be part of the project, get on board. So between a few things of social media, the posters, but then word of mouth, yeah, really got everyone on board. And as soon as you get a couple, they all like to jump on board too. Yeah, it's really exciting to see what we can now use them for and the projects we're going to make. We've been able to produce many different items, ranging from hanging pendant lamps, recycled wallets, plant pots for cacti, signs, keychains, key rings, carabiners. We try to leave the options open for students of what they can produce and allow their creativity to really shine through with how they use this new material and ultimately making ethical decisions moving forward. So my project was to essentially make something that was marketable and I could make money out of. So I've decided to make phone cases made out of recycled plastics. The Sustainable Schools grant allowed us to purchase the shredder, which means we can chip the plastics and that allows the students to um, repeat the process on a much bigger scale than we were able to do without that grant. So to make the sheet, we used the plastic milk bottles, which were shredded and they were put into a sheet press, which were melted down and put into a uniform sheet. And I'll use this to create my phone cases by putting the 3D printed version into the vacuum form with this on top and it'll melt through and form the shape that I need. I've made this double fold wallet that can fold in on itself and it's got two little pouches in there. And so that's all made out of recycled plastic. So this project has seen lots of positive benefits for our students. Um, probably the first one is increasing awareness about what plastics are doing to our environment. It's really engaged them because it's an authentic learning experience. You can see that they're up and about and they're keen to be involved. And then again, it's branched out into other key learning areas too because there's lots of other faculties that are talking about the project and, and what impact that's going to have. So not just in that TAS world, but across lots of KLAs. It feels good to know that I'm making a small difference out there and helping the environment and make the world a more sustainable place. So the more we like put a focus on making our materials made out of those recycled things, the more we can do to like make everything out of recycled plastics and so we don't have to make any more. It makes me super proud as principal of this school to have a project like this, particularly for a school in a regional area. Um, it, it's, it's amazing for us to have this opportunity. Mm -hmm.